All right, so we are going to be looking at the first law of arithmetic here. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. Let's look at some examples of it first. So let's say we have 26 plus 33 and 33 plus 26. What can you say about these two numbers, these two sums? Well, we know that this is going to be 59. We also know that this is going to be 59 too. Okay, and we do another example here, 27 plus 13, what do you get when you add these up? Well, you're going to get 40, and then 13 plus 27, you're also going to get 40. So what do you notice about these? What's the same and what's different? Have a look at this example here. What do you notice about the answer to 47 plus 15 and... Uh, 15 plus 47. So hopefully you figured out that, well, you're going to get 62 in each case. Now there's a pattern here that I hope you have noticed and that is actually called the commutative law of addition. So when you think of the word commutative, you can think of commute when things go from one place to another. Um, addition is obviously when we're adding things up, it's a sum, and the law applies to everything. So we're looking at this, something that applies to all numbers. So the commutative law of addition says that when you add two numbers, if you exchange their places, then their sum remains the same. So a really basic example, 9 plus 10 equals 19, and 10 plus 9 equals 19. We can extend the examples, we can talk about fractions, um, we can do decimals, um, any two numbers when you exchange their places, if you are adding them, so sum is a specific word, it has to be addition, then the answer will be the same if you swap them over. And we're going to generalise this, so if you don't have this, you can make a note of this, commutative law of addition, and the generalisation we use letters because this applies to any number, any two pair of numbers here, and we put it like this: a plus b equals b plus a, where a and b are any numbers. And this is called a generalization. We're going to do this throughout this whole topic of um, laws of arithmetic. So the first law of arithmetic that you have now learned is the commutative law of addition. All right, so some really exciting other laws to look at coming up.